morning everybody my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe i am a female a woman i live in rochester kent and i have done for the past four years since i moved from chatham and i've lived in chatham since 2008 2020 so that was 12 years living in Chatham a quarter of that time I was living with my parents in Victoria Road I have been married I've been long divorced I've had several relationships which have been abusive and I've decided that I'm quite happy by myself now it's the school holidays my children are grown up and I don't really see them that often anymore. And you don't. When you're a parent, you let your children fly the nest. That's what it's called, fly in the nest. And, and you learn to live out the latter years of your life, hopefully in peace and quiet. People retire from their jobs. They go to the seaside and they spend the rest of their lives in peace and quiet, hopefully. Life is not like that, though. For most people life is a hard hard nasty journey with ups and downs and and it can be quite nasty at times but when you're on your own you get strong you get resilient you learn to cope without anybody and it makes you feel stronger doesn't upset me it makes me feel stronger the more the more shit that is thrown at me the more stronger I get so bring it on so my bank paid a five pound direct debit to the RSPB after I'd um, done a video this morning talking about the Royal the Gloucestershire Royal Hospital which is obviously in Gloucestershire and the royal family has residence in Gloucestershire. And I'm not, no word of a lie, after I'd uploaded that video, I got notified that the bank had paid a £5 direct debit and left me £1.99 in debit. This did not upset me because I had more than £1.99 in my purse. I had more than £1.99 in my purse, so that did not upset me so I didn't get upset didn't get cross I walked max just before 10 a.m. this morning now be careful when the Sun is shining because it can shine in your eyes and blind you briefly and you it can be dangerous if you're walking across the road don't stare at the Sun Anyway, I, I went walking around the bottom of the road. I don't want other people, if you know what I mean. What other people are doing is their business. It's no business of mine. I've got my own life. I want to do my own things. I've had no messages, no phone calls, but I had listened to 15 of my mother's messages yesterday. I'd listened to 15 answer phone messages yesterday and remember that I hadn't been having anything to do with the phone for at least five days. There was no incidents, no nothing, no misery. So yesterday I sat down and I listened to 15 messages on the phone that my mother had left me over a period of five days, four or five days. So I get up this morning and I'm feeling a little bit like, oh my God, I don't want to do anything today, <laughs> right? <sighs> Got up, threw a bin bag of rubbish into the bin, came back up to the flat and I took, the, right, took Max out for a walk, went out the back and everything was okay to start with. And then people like to mock what I look like. We go on to the newspaper when it's got on the front page of the Daily Mail today. I'm a woman, a female, right? 
they've mixed me up with somebody else and they're making fun of me for no reason and, and that's, that's fair enough because I'm fighting for justice I'm fighting for other men and women that have been abused as children and not being listened and heard to heard right being called names because you've been abused it's dirty they don't want to touch me because I'm filth my dad's abused me incest is dirty no one wants to hold my hand fair enough if that's your opinion of some of a child that's been abused and grown into an adult survivor I'm dirty you don't want to touch me okay that's fine by me. I don't want you near me anyway. That's some people's in opinions of abuse and incest. You're a dirty person. I don't want to touch you. You're filthy. You can't catch a disease from a, an abused person. You can't. Abuse isn't a disease. It's not germs. Someone that's been abused isn't dirty. The perpetrator's a filthy arsehole. But the victim is a victim. But some people have the opinion, oh, not only do you get you're dirty, you're filthy, you get that I must be loose. Because my father's abused me and men have abused me, I must be loose and I must be easy. And an easy lay. Well, that's crap as well. But a lot of it, I, I, that's why they don't want to put things into my hand they think that abuse is a dirty word and that I'm filth I can't change their opinion let them get on with it it's not going to spoil my day so I started walking down towards where the co-op is and there was an old lady they dressed an old lady of about 80 they had dressed an old lady of about 80 with grey hair in sunglasses they try and hypnotise you and brainwash you and make you conform and be a good girl you see so there was this old lady dressed up like myself with sunglasses on and she had a backpack and she was going past the builders where they were sat on the benches you know where I go around to walk the dog and those young men belched at me. Well, she was walking in that same direction. And I didn't go on the field today. I felt tired. So I walked to... I, 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 they do their scenarios. They try to make me feel horrible about myself. So I shout and get angry. Or I feel even worse and depressed. So there was a guy stood by the Rochester Riverside office. I cut off. And then his male mate came and they walked off towards the co-op. It's pornography. I don't know what it is, but they staged their little scenario. I walked down the back of the flats and I thought, right, let's, let's do a bit of running, which I normally do with Max every morning. I run. And I was running up one of the side streets where I live. And the sun hit me right in the eyes. And there was a FedEx van, I remember it, but it was coming up the road slowly. It wasn't coming up so fast it could run me over. So the sun blinded me in the eyes. I lost my proper the sight for about a couple of seconds. And then I tripped over Max's dog lead. And I fell on my side in the road when this FedEx lorry was coming up, but it was coming up the road slowly. It wasn't enough to knock me over anyway, or run me down. Um, so I knew I was going to fall. So I put, I, I put my hand out to land on my hand, but I grazed my knee. I, I sliced skin off my knee. You know, like when you were a kid in a school playground and you fall over, I've grazed my knee. Here it is. There's the graze. See? It's cut the skin right off. And it's bleeding. And it's sore. No one 
one saw me fall over. No one saw me fall over because I'm one of these people that just get up and get on with it. So it fucking hurt. Of course it did. I sliced the skin off. It hurt, but I got right back up. So I fell down in about two seconds and then I was up in two seconds and I was up on my feet and I carried on walking because that's the person I am. And I don't want to show these dogs that hate me. I don't want to give them a reason to smile. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to give these people that hate me and take the piss out of me a reason to laugh. So up I got and I started running again. Um, um, I wanted to get fresh air to the knee outside but I wasn't going to walk around with one of my trousers up and one of my legs of my trousers down. So I got indoors, I put a pair of shorts on so that it can heal up and I can get some air to it. I've got to, I, I, I went into the cult for some plasters. So I came back in, I dropped Max off and I've been into the co-op and we've got some thin sliced chicken to go in my rolls. We've got some Nivea soft face, body and hand cream. I couldn't find any germaline, so I'm going to rub this onto my leg. I couldn't find any germaline at all. Refreshingly soft moisturising cream, so we've got some of that. We've got the 40 clear waterproof plasters, that's all I could find. We've got some airwaves chewing gum. We've got some clearance milk, 93 pence. So we're going to have that today, the milk. We're going to have some cereal and obviously probably some shakes or something. And we've got a co-op freshly prepared sausage roll for a snack. And we got the Daily Mail today. Right, so the bank has left me minus one ninety nine. This came to a total of about nine pounds forty pence. Nine pounds forty pence. Daily Mail, Wednesday, April the tenth, twenty twenty four. Daily Mail's one pound ten. This has also been on LBC Radio. This discussion this morning about transgenders. Landmark report on gender care and. The big blasted black thick headlines at last a voice of sanity on children and trans dogma dogma read that how you will dog dogma as in dogma or dog mother Read that how you will. Children given NHS transgender treatment have been set on a path of irreversible change despite scant medical data, a report has concluded. NHS gender identity services for children and young people have been based on remarkably weak evidence the independent review by leading paediatrician Dr. Hilary Cass warned. Now I know the person that's involved in my abuse and the trouble behind what I'm getting outside and everywhere else. Right? I know what you're doing. I know what you're saying. I'm not sick and I'm not stupid. And yes, I do buy the Daily Mail every day. So if they want to put horrific headlines on the front page and they're guilty of doing this in 2008 when I was living in Gloucestershire, folding up newspapers, going past my flat like this with headlines on the front, right past my window and the guy with the baseball bat. So we know what you're doing. We know, and we're not stupid. I just want to find out who's involved in harassing me, who it is, and why they're doing it. Because it's not just as an adult. 
I was abused as a child. And the same things were going on when my dad was taking me to places. Wasn't it? Stop trying to make out this is just happening because you've been doing it to me, Great Britain, since I was tiny. And why did the police say Derek wasn't my father twice? Twice when I reported my father for horrific abuse to myself, did not the police arrest him? Now stop hiding your shit, Great Britain, and fucking tell the truth. And stop taking your shit out on me. I've suffered enough. And I'm not prepared to suffer anymore. Dogma. And we know that's a film as well, don't we, that someone watched while I was sitting with them. Someone working for somebody. Who's the dog mother? Well, it's better than being the godfather, isn't it? Who's the dog mother they're talking about? You wait, Great Britain, when everybody wakes up and realises what you're doing and why. And what happens when I fall down? I don't cry. I get up and I run again. I get up. Oh, and when I came back into my block of flats, there was a curly-haired girl with the same colour as me in a wheelchair. A wheelchair. So they knew I fell over. They knew I fell over. And how did they know, know, know I fell over? bloke with ginger hair and sunglasses on in the building next to a girl with curly hair in a wheelchair. How did they fucking know I fell over? So I've picked myself up and I've got back on with it. I've got, do you know what? So how did they witness me fall over? I was up in two seconds. Do you know what I had to my phone as well when I got in my flat? Uh, ta 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 ta. I subscribed to my TikTok channel. Ta ta. You know what ta ta means, don't you? Bye bye. Well, guys, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day because I don't let the bastards get me down. But uh, set me free or fuck off. See you later, everybody.